Giving to others until her final moment, Robin Holland touched hundreds of lives in Williamson County. She was killed on the side of a road Friday while helping an injured dog. National 5 Party shows us why so many will miss her. Robin Holland had pulled over on the side of this road to help an injured dog when an SUV hit her. For those who knew her best, they say it's no surprise that she spent her last moments doing what she always did, which was helping others. Officials town out for a measurement. Robin Holland's voice defined what it meant to give. Fish and wings brought up to the booth this evening. Oh my goodness, folks. From the Franklin High School football field, where she volunteered as an announcer for years. You knew that she was a giving person just by being around her. To this church, where members became her family. She felt like the most important person in her life. And I think everybody felt that way. Robin's voice will be missed by many, but losing her will be especially hard for Johnny Peppers. And from the first day those kids came, she was there to help. He and his wife fostered, then adopted, five small children two years ago. It was a commitment they never dreamed they'd take on. You know, we didn't have to ask her. We didn't have to tell her we needed help. She was there holding the baby. She was there reading to the children. She just kind of became a part of our family immediately. And those kids, um, they, they were magnetized by her as well and they're going, to, there's a big hole in their life now. A difficult goodbye. Well, first I was like, dead gum it, Robin. You know, you're mad at her for, for, um, for putting herself in a, in a dangerous situation for another one of God's creatures. With one small comfort. But you realized very quickly after you were mad at her for a half a second, that of course she was there. Of course she was doing that. Robin died doing what she loved, giving. Anybody that needed a hand, she was going to go see if she could give that hand. In Franklin, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Holland leaves behind three children of her own. Her funeral will be tomorrow at Bethlehem United Methodist Church in Franklin. Not